Hello, my dear children. Good morning, all of you. Today for class 12, your first semester exam is completed. Now we have to take preparation for semester 2. In semester 2, integration in your syllabus. On integration, you have already got three lessons. First lesson, you are getting formula and solution. And this is the uh, fourth, please see the book. This is the part four. Here, six solution is given for practicing. My suggestion, you must go through the first video to understand this. Without go through the first video, if you start to understand this, I think you will feel difficulties. So, in a gist, I want to tell you have to write the formula for integration, algebraic function and trigonometric function, all the formulas and formula for multiple angle, submultiple angle and compound angle. This formula you have to learn nicely. Then you go through the solution, easily you will understand. After understanding, you must copy the sum in your copy and try yourself. Please see the board. The first sum that is cos 2x equal to 2 sin square x by cos square x. See the formula cos 2x. First, you have to apply the formula cos 2x. That is the multiple angle. Uh, cos 2x equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x. This is why cos in place of cos 2x we are writing this. And after simplification, we are getting the frame of integration formula. It, any sum exactly will not given in the frame of integration formula. By simplifying, you have to bring the expression in the frame of formula. Then you have to apply. Same thing, this sum, this is not exactly in the frame of a uh, formula. By algebraic formula, that is a plus b whole square minus this is 2x square. And this is why we have to subtract this. Then this expression, we are getting the frame of formula. And again, this is, we are getting the formula of a square minus b square. By applying a square minus b square, we are getting this. Then simplification, we are getting this term. After that, we have to separate each term in this way. Then we have to apply the formula for integration. See here, that is tan inverse root over this, that 1 minus cos 2x. A 1 minus cos 2x equal to 2 sin square x. A 1 plus cos 2x equal to 2 cos square x. So by applying the formula, we are getting this. Then easily we are getting this frame. Then after simplification, we are getting x dx and applying formula, we are getting half x square plus c. This is the answer for this part. Here, formula for multiple, here 1 minus cos 2x, we are writing 2 sin square x and 2 cos square x. And here, see. In place of cos 2x, we are writing this. One formula, there are different frame. Which frame where you have to apply, that depends on that particular sum. Now, this sum is completed. Now, that is again, see cos 2x. Cos 2x, here cos square x minus sin square x. See, after writing the formula, then we have to simplify in this way. Cos square x, cos square x cancel, then 1 minus sin square x, 1 minus sin square x, that is cos square x. Then we are getting in the frame of formula of integration. After getting, then we have to apply the formula for integration. By applying, we are getting this. This is the answer. In this way, this is the algebraic uh, sum logarithm, that is e to the power 6 log x. First, we have to simplify this by 
applying the power rule that is c to the power log x to the power 6 then e to the power log x equal to x by applying this formula it is coming x to the power 6 this is x to the power 5 this is x to the power 4 and this is x cube after that's very simple you have to take uh, common and after simplification we are getting this this is exactly we are get the frame of formula and applying formula we are getting the answer answer is this sum is completed again this sum that is one one we may replace that is sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one here by sub multiple angle we are getting this this is also by sub multiple angle after applying the formula then we are getting in the frame of algebraic formula a plus b whole square then root and square will be eliminated then after elimination of root and square we are getting the frame of integration formula and after uh, applying the formula and simplification we are getting the answer this is the answer so vital things you have to remember all the formula what you have learned in multiple sub multiple and compound angle and integration then if you uh, try to do the sum then easily you will understand please see the solution okay if you feel difficulties you go through the solution again and again repeatedly you must go through the formula then easily you will understand okay Thank you.